On the first night, Rose took me to one of her favorite restaurants, Dim Sum Palace, and we ordered so many things. Everything was amazing, but our favorites have to be the barbecue pork buns, the soup dumplings, and the sweet egg yolk buns. We're going to Rose's apartment party. Yeah. This bitch is my day one. Yep. Since Call sophomore since year, sophomore baby. Year. Yeah. Here in three dance class. We don't gotta talk about it, but it happened. I just took a shower and I woke up at 8 a.m. like California time. We slept at 4. We're gonna get our ears pierced today. That's the plan and brunch. Where? Either across the street at Cafe Mogador or Sidel's if we want to be more bougie. Then look yeah. at her view. It's like nice. The room is super cute. Look at all my artwork. Look at her brick wall. Love the accent. Love the pictures. So that's that's, that's me right there. <laughs> From high Sarah's school. Face me out every day. Like, every like, second of the day. Like, I'm like, literally. Like, I'm watching you 24-7. Here's her little bookshelf. That's so aesthetic. So it was kind of rainy last night, but super cute. I don't know how we slept at 4 a.m. So now I'm gonna get ready. Hello y'all, I got ready and this is my fit. La Pong. La Pong. La Pong. La Imagine taking French in high school. It's gonna be me. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do a fit check at the subway. So tell me where everything's from. Well, I don't know where this is from, but it's obviously like the accent piece. So. Yeah. Um, these are plaza pants that I got from Urban Outfitters. I wear these literally every day. It's from the 70s. It's a vintage piece I got out of Berkeley thrift store. This is okay, my Berkeley, mom's Berkeley, Berkeley Core, Berkeley Core. Um, oh. This is from Princess Polly. This skirt Ooh. I got from Depop. These are from Amazon. The tights. We love an Amazon purchase. And then we have the dogs. Uh-huh. Wow. No, like, for real, why was that line so long? And now we're going to replace Rose's AirPods. I can't function without my AirPods. Yeah. Like, let alone just, like, one AirPod. Like, that's just not going to cut it for me. Let's Hopefully go. they give me MIU soon to cow. Rose got her AirPods. Birthday girl. Birthday, Birthday girl. girl. I decided that I'm gonna get three piercings. I've been wanting to do this for like two years now. And Rose wanted to get a nose piercing, but she decided against it. You could get a fake one. I feel like that's like a safe option, honestly. This is crazy. Right. 
I just woke up. This week is basically my spring break and Rose has classes to go to this week because her break was actually last week. She's in class right now. I respect that and I'm totally gonna give her space to work on stuff. But I'm gonna just go into the city alone and explore and do fun things. And honestly, I love doing stuff independently. Today, I just wanted to go on a morning run at Central Park and I might get breakfast after. After my run, I cooled down by strolling through the Upper East Side, truly trying to live my Gossip Girl dreams. Then I walked for about 30 minutes to go to Essa Bagel, which is supposedly one of the best bagel places in New York. So I just went on a three-ish mile run in Central Park and then I walked around Madison Avenue and then I went to Essa Bagel which is like a famous bagel place in New York City and you know I had to try a bagel here like that's the ultimate goal. So I got some coffee and it was super crowded there so I couldn't sit down so I literally walked for like 10-ish minutes and I found this little spot over here to just sit down and like eat this but yeah this is basically my lunch because I didn't have any breakfast but yeah we're chilling we're vibing the sun is out and it's a good day Meet me on the street light. Rose was still in class, so I decided to explore the area around Washington Square Park, and I got a few books from this tiny used bookstore in East Village, and I went thrifting at L Train Vintage, and they had a very great selection of jeans. However, I wanted to get a jacket because I was freezing. Later that night, I met up with Rose and her friends at NYU, and we got some work done. My friend says, Slay! And now I'm like, oh Slay! No, that's no, literally period. also an Ava thing. I say period. 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 This is such a vibe. I feel like I'm in some Hollywood studio, like getting ready. <laughs> I catched up on a few econ lectures and we ended up staying at the study lounge until like 1 a.m. The next morning, we went to some cafe nearby and I absolutely loved the ambiance and the art here. Today was a pretty chill day. We just strolled in the city and I saw these adorable puppies, but it was kind of sad that they were stuck in some glass door. But then at sunset, I walked to Pier 40 and I just chilled there and it was so nice. Hey guys, so Rose is in class right now, so I'm heading to Brooklyn alone. It's pretty rainy right now. My hair looks nice right now, but it's probably gonna get frizzy as fuck because of this rain. I'm gonna check out like the Brooklyn Bridge, maybe get a pizza. All of myself, independent lady out here. That's basically what I'm doing. to West Elm for fun because I literally have nothing to do and I just want to look at overly priced decor so yeah I just ate my pizza below the Brooklyn Bridge. It was amazing. I also got their world famous ice cream. Kind of freezing my ass off. Ignorantly, I got some ice cream, but honestly, while I'm here, gotta try everything. So that's my excuse. I just took the subway. I'm at the Upper East Side right now walking to the Met. So basically, I was gonna go to the Met with a date from Bumble, but I last minute decided that I was in the mood. So I ended up just not going with the date. Right now, I'm just going to the Met alone. And honestly, I feel like when you go alone, you can really enjoy the art anyway. I hope I have enough time because on Thursday, they close at five. And then I'm meeting up with my big for my sorority for sushi. And then after that, I might go clubbing. So I'm trying to pack as much as I can since it's my last night here. I'm leaving Friday at 1.30. 
security. I love it here and I literally don't want to leave. I wanted to stay longer and change my flight, but I would have to pay another $100 and I was not about to do that, but I would stay here longer if I could. And I also have a paper due. I'd rather just get that done when I'm back at Berkeley. So I guess I'm gonna leave early, but I could literally stay here for like months or even live here for all I know. So even though I was at the Met alone, I actually enjoyed it even more because I was able to see everything at my own pace and be fully immersed in the art. And it was also refreshing to do a lot of the activities by myself on this trip because I was able to reflect after being constantly stimulated by people, classes, and events while I was in college. So it was really a good break for me.